Hi Scorpio, welcome to your end of March uh, general forecast. This is Miriam, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new return or returning, welcome and thank you. So Scorpio, I'm going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. Could be love, could be general, could be work, career, finance. We're going to take whatever comes out here. How, uh, however the energies come out, we're going to take them as they come. So please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. It may not be for everybody. Could be past, present, or future so please keep that in mind and this is for sun moon rising venus and jupiter male or female watching this doesn't matter so we'll see what energies are around you at this time for you scorpio so welcome everyone hope everybody's doing well so this is a zodiac oracle we could get a sign element or planet see what comes out if you don't resonate with this part totally fine and then i will pull one of these as an opening message and then another for your energy and then I will clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at the situation, the actual situation, advice, possible outcome, extra messages with the uh, healing fairies. And then this is uh, some new cards I got at the Dollar Tree. They are prayer cards. They had two different types. I mixed them together. So you could call it a prayer or you could call it an affirmation. But I'll pull one of those at the end for you. And I thought that'd be kind of fun. So let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio, at this time at this time and this may not be for you if it's not fitting that you're reading please don't try to make it fit please uh, don't leave me a lot of comments that no 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 then it's not your reading <laughs> so it's that simple all right Scorpio let's see what's going on at this time and if it's not resonating you can watch past readings I consider them all timeless links are below for your general and love playlists along with the decks I'm using social media links how to reach out for personal reading if you like to tip donate send a gift all that info is below in the description box or the pinned top comment. If you're not comfortable donating or exchanging energy through PayPal um, during the premiere and only during the premiere, Super Chat is open and available for energy exchanges, tips, or donations. And if you do, thank you. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what we have for you from this deck, from the Zodiac deck. For Scorpio spirit, please. Thank you so much for Scorpio. Wow, that one flying. All right, let me go get it. What do we have for Scorpio? We have the sun. Nice. This is a Leo energy. <coughs> but it doesn't have to be. Sorry. I just want to say, Scorpio, I did get over just having the flu a few weeks ago, but I still have a lingering cough and some sort of congestion. I feel fine other than that. So I'm apologizing in advance for any coughing or whatever. Uh, I'm trying my best not to, but please bear with me. Be patient. And... Um, don't leave me any negative comments because, again, I'll just delete them. So we do have the sun energy here, which is Leo, but it doesn't have to be. So this is all about you, who you truly are, your originality, your identity, your soul, your soul purpose, who you are. It's all about you and who you are at heart and in your soul. So we'll see how that resonates for you. All right. Passion, drive, ambition. All right. So let's get an opening message for Scorpio now the Sun now with the zodiac it's a little different but the Sun in the tarot is the best best card you can get out of the majors uh, out of the whole deck it's everything everything positive in life with the Sun card in the tarot so let's get an opening message for you Scorpio an opening message for Scorpio well we have the seven of Raphael time to make a decision be clear on what you want and take action a need for detoxification so this is a seven of cups of um, energy and I can talk about uh, options decisions confusion daydreamy kind of energy uh, choices so there may be something here you may need to make a decision on options or choices kind of um, energy so we'll see what that is. You may be a little confused on uh, all these options and choices. So you may have a lot of choices and options coming your way and you may not know which one to pick. All right, but it's time to take action. So let's see what your energy is like, Scorpio. What is your energy like, Scorpio, right now? For Scorpio spirit, please. Thank you so much for Scorpio. Feeling that one. Well, we have the king of Ariel, king or queen, doesn't matter here. Successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. 
Your plans are working out very well, professional and financial success, using resources wisely. So, you know, you could be a business owner, entrepreneur, a boss or a high-ranking boss or CEO or something like that, vice president, or maybe you're uh, working many jobs or maybe you're, um, if you're a business owner, you're doing many things or you have many like little businesses or many options in whatever you're doing here, whatever, you know, you're successful in here. But uh, it's time to make a decision here. I think I feel uh, maybe you're doing like spreading yourself too thin, doing too many things, uh, kind of being like king of your domain, king or queen. But I feel like you have many, many layers of what you do and many ways uh, you work or give your service or how, how, however here. But I think it's time to... Maybe narrow it down a little bit and pick the most successful things for you that are true to you and who you are and you feel uh, is living out your life purpose. If that makes any sense. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we do have strength here. Archangel Ariel. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. So I think you're a very strong, confident person. You have a lot of willpower, drive, ambition. Um, go-getter energy to go after what you want. Very strong, strong energy. Very abundant, strong, confident. Like, oh, I could do this. I could do that. I can make money here, make money there. Do this, do that. And, and you're probably maybe doing a big mishmash of things. And it's like, okay, maybe it's time now, like narrow it down. Also, what are your strongest assets, your strongest um, traits, you know, the things you're strongest at. And it may be time to concentrate on just that, I feel. Scorpio, however that resonates for you. So let's clarify this energy. Energy, your strongest, I don't know how, how I want to say, or your assets or your, you know, your strengths, your strongest strengths at what you do. Maybe time to pick and choose what your strongest suits are or abilities. All right, Scorpio, let's clarify this for you. Scorpio, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, all those who have uh, supported me in the channel in any way you have. Um, thank you, thank you. And in honor of reaching 10,000 subscribers, if you have not heard already, I am having a giveaway. In honor of that, as a thank you, you can win a tarot deck. And also with that tarot deck, I will do a free 20-minute reading for you of your choice. And then I'll send you that tarot deck. So if you're interested in entering the contest, it's open, uh, the giveaway through March. Check the description box below the, for a uh, top pinned comment on how to enter. And if you do, good luck to you. Okay, Scorpio. So let's clarify this energy for you, Scorpio. What is this all about? Oh, way too many. For you, Scorpio. Queen of Swords. This is always divine energy to me, but it's all about the air energy. So again, having king or queen, having, you know, truth and clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you, cutting away things that are not working for you, standing up, you know, not backing down, telling it like it is kind of energy, king and queen of swords here. So I feel like you could be a very logical person also. Maybe you work with your mind in some way or speaking. All right, so let's see. What else here? The world. So closing out cycles that aren't working you for you no, anymore. And could be about starting new cycles or just starting like a new way. And starting with only the ways that work best for you. That are your strongest assets. Your, your you know, your strongest strengths. <laughs> and having that mental clarity. I could still be in my king or queen pentacle power here. Even if I eliminate this or eliminate that, it's time to make a decision here. Or else, what else for you? Now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, the King and Queen of Pentacles. So we do have a matching couple here. You could be in business with a um, uh, a partner. You know, like uh, um, a husband, a wife, or a significant other. Because we do have a matching couple here. So it could be a soul, definite soulmate here. But if not, it's just reiterating here that whether you're male or female, king or queen, 
You're very confident, strong, you're stable, you're grounded, you know how to make your money, you know how to make your pentacles, you're very smart, good with money and finances, and also good with your mind, logical also. Uh, is there a card flipped here? No, okay. So let's see. So what do we have here? Wow, so we have the six of pentacles. So yeah, needing balance here, something balancing out and justice here. So getting justice, receiving justice, two cards of balance. This is the major and the minor of balance. <coughs> so I feel like here, in order to get this major balance in your life, there needs to be a concentration on your strongest points and eliminating those things that are not working for you. All right. I think you have too much doing too much like too many different things or too many in your career or whatever it is for you you know you may uh i don't know do a lot of different things and it's just i think you need to narrow it down i feel three of swords so this is about heartache pain loss so you may feel you know maybe passionate about everything you're doing but maybe you know it's time here you realize you know i'm just gonna wear myself out wear myself thin to just a little skeleton here. So it's time to, you know, and you may feel sad and heartbroken that you have to leave behind some things here and not spread yourself so thin. thin. And I'm definitely feeling it's more around work, career, finances. But just know by doing this, you're still going to be in that king or queen of pentacle energy and be and still have balance in your life. Because the justice is all about truth, the clarity, like the king of swords and having balance. All right, so let's look at your actual situation for you here. Scorpio, what's going on here, Scorpio? Please, Spirit, thank you so much for Scorpio. The chariot. Yeah, so I feel like you're a real go-getter here, some of you. This is moving forward in that confident, ambitious energy, moving forward confidently, you know, to success and victory, balance, being very balanced. So you could be very level-headed, very balanced person. Uh, not afraid to go after new things, try new things, new challenges. Very uh, go-getter, going after it kind of energy. Uh, what else here? The devil. So yeah, this might be a little bit of toxic energy, like um, maybe being overconfident or overzealous or over... You know, like, okay, I can do this, I can do that. You know, I'm I'm the emperor, the empress. I'm, you know, the king of my domain, queen of my domain. I can do this, I can do that. Maybe having a little bit of ego, uh, overconfident kind of energy also. I'm getting like maybe a little defensive also kind of energy. You could be addicted to this energy also. The hermit. So yeah, it's time here to take a little break, <laughs> to think and contemplate about this energy. What do I need to do here? Finding your path, your way, your light. What, in which, which ways are best suited for me where I can really, really shine? And choosing just that, not being so over cocky, confident, over zealous kind of energy. Yeah, I feel like Seven of Wands, you're very defensive about yourself, your energy, about the things you do. You know, maybe people have commented, you know, well, why do you do this? Why do you do that? You know, why are you doing so much? Why don't you just, you know, and maybe you're just very, very defensive about who you are, what you do, what your actions are. But it's telling you here, right in the middle of the spread, it's time to really think, think about all this. All right, so I hope this is making sense for some. Or this could be somebody around you. This isn't you. This could be somebody around you if it's not you. All right. So it could be affecting you, especially if it's a partner or a love or family or something like that. All right. So one more. The emperor. And I had just said emperor, empress. And now we have the emperor. So, yeah. And you see, like, how, you know... How on guard defensive he is like kind of miserable almost wow 
it's like you're ready to fight there. It's like I got my ball and bat and I'm ready, you know, to swing. Wow. That's this energy here too, like ready to snap. <clears throat> Maybe where and you're in the energy just ready to snap. <laughs> and it's really time to think about this here. Scorpio. All right, so let's get some advice for you. So some of you definitely could be a boss entrepreneur, own your own business. Maybe you own many businesses or many branches or something here. Many different things, especially with the Seven of Cups. But it's time here to thin out the herd a little bit, I feel. And isn't that funny? Because this is the animal totem tarot. <laughs> to thin out the herd. Time to thin out the herd. All right. So let's get advice for you, Scorpio. Scorpio. Advice for you, Scorpio. Ace of Cups. So here's a brand new beginning. A feeling, you know, fulfilled. Emotionally fulfilled. Happy. Joy. Peace and harmony. So I feel like, all right, let's get, let's get a few more for your advice. If you want to feel this happy and contentment and joy and actually be able to feel it, I think you, you need to uh, let go of some of these things here. Strength. So we have strength here coming up twice. So you're a very strong-willed person, I feel. You like this book, maybe very bullheaded. Very bullheaded, but very strong, independent, confident, maybe even overconfident and cocky. Oh, boy. But, you know, the strength card, you can overcome, tame the beast from within. Tower. Yeah, so, wow. So you, <laughs> okay. One more for your advice. One more for your advice. I feel... Eight of Pentacles. So again, working, working, working. Working, working, working. I feel the advice is here. If you don't overcome this confident, overconfident energy, being bullheaded with the strength, and realize to get your peace, harmony, and joy, there are some things here with the Eight of Pentacles of working all the time. You may need to eliminate some of these, uh, make decision on some of these things here, that if you don't do that, the tower here, I think the universe is going to step in. There may actually, lightning may actually hit something here, and there may actually be a fire. It's like something the universe is going to do, a tower moment here, that is going to happen where if you don't do it, the universe is going to step in and do it here. And I don't want to scare anybody, but that's just the message I got, that <laughs> there may be actually lightning hitting and there may be a fire to like a business or something like that. I don't want to scare anybody, but the universe definitely is going to step in here, make something happen and shake things up so that you can release things that you don't need to do so much here. And you can feel, you do have the opportunity here to feel more pleasures of life other than just working, 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 working. Because you see this bull is even working. He's towing all these items so he's a working bull wow okay so <laughs> this may not be for everybody but and if you don't own a business or you don't own many things or do maybe you're just overworking too much or working too many jobs here and if you don't you know let light up lighten up on that a little bit the universe is going to step in here with some sort of tower moment and lighten the load for you because you see this lightning is almost hitting this load here so somehow the universal is going to lighten this load for you if you don't do it yourself. So outcome here, we have, let's see. We do have the Page of Cups. We do have the Queen of Cups. That's your energy. And we got the Three of Pentacles. So, because now we're at from eight to the three. So you may actually be reducing something here. Either hours you're working Maybe going full-time to part-time. Maybe going from, well, I don't think you're working eight jobs, but if you're working like um, double shifts or something like that, <clears throat> I see here, you know, maybe not working so much. Or some of you could actually learn something new. Maybe get a job or, I mean, a promotion or a raise or something. And now, you know, you're reducing your 
hours or maybe, uh, you know, letting go of one job if you're working two or three jobs here. Because now I see you in your element, in your power here. And now, like, enjoying life. You know, communicating now in a more loving, uh, compassionate, peaceful energy to those around you. <coughs> Instead of being, you know, defensive, on guard, bullheaded, stubborn kind of energy. I see you now more in this peaceful, loving, compassionate energy. Oh, okay. So let's see here for you, Scorpio. So we have the fool. So I think you're running around like a fool here. You're doing, <laughs> working all these hours. You have like no time for yourself. It's like you're running around like zero hours for yourself. Too busy, you know, running around like a fool here. You know, being very fiery, passionate, you know, go-getter kind of energy. Like I can go, 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 do it, do it, do it. But again, here's the seven of cups coming up again. So needing to eliminate some of this energy. Yeah, eliminating it with the Five of Pentacles. Abandonment left out in the cold. So abandoning some of that energy. Ending it here with the Ten of Swords. Ending, ending, ending. And maybe you've been waiting, you know, waiting here. No, Maybe knowing, maybe this is something you need to do, but not taking action, just waiting, waiting. Finally, you'll be at an energy here where you can finally rest to take some time for you and heal and rest and recuperate. And here's the truth and clarity of the matter for some of you with the Ace of Swords, Victorious New Beginning, based on truth and clarity. Again, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up, not backing down. So you, you're still going to be successful and victorious here with the Ace of Swords energy. Because we have the moon here. You may not see how. Well, how is that going to happen? Here's the Ace of Pentacles. So it could be a raise, a promotion, or even a new job here. You know, you get another job, and now... You can eliminate all this overworking or whatever here, or just narrowing down your many, many skills down to just one or two here. All right, so we have, let's see, we have uh, Pisces. We have Leo Sagittarius. We have Aquarius. <coughs> we have Leo here. Let's see, is this the world? We have Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, Capricorn, Virgo. Let's see, what else do we have here? Libra, uh, Energy. So let's pull some of these for you, Scorpio. So I hope this makes sense for some of you. All right, Scorpio. I do ask Scorpio, especially if you're new. Please feel free to check out my channel if you like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. Right now I'm doing about five readings a month. To love, to general, and a bonus. But I may be switching that up. So if you head on over to my community tab of my channel, I have two polls I would like everybody to vote in on what kind of readings you would like to see per month. And I have been thinking about doing extendeds on Vimeo for just a small price. If you're interested in voting on those, please do so, and I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, Scorpio. Okay, I've got a couple here flying out at me. All right, so let's get a couple messages... Couple of messages for Scorpio. We got three here. Letting go. Yeah, it's time to let go of some some things here. Letting go. Magic of nature. So it's time to have some new time. Time to get out and do the things you love doing. Maybe it's time to get outside more. Maybe you know you're indoors all the time. And parenting and children. So maybe some of you are parents and have children. Maybe you're not spending enough time with them either. Maybe taking your children out for a walk or, you know, spending quality time with them outside at the park, things of that nature and self-reliant. So you're very self-reliant, independent, can take care of yourself. You know how to make your money. You don't really need anyone else, but, but there is energy here of overworking or doing too much and it's need to it's time to pick and choose here. Let things, some things go. 
But some may have a new opportunity come in, which will enable you to let some things go. All right, so Scorpio, let's get an affirmation prayer for you, Scorpio, to close this out. For Scorpio, please, what is the prayer or affirmation? Okay, I think it's this one for you, Scorpio. And we have, with God, all things are possible. So I'm just thinking here that you, you know, I think you're a type of person that you, you think, okay, that's possible. I can do that. That's possible. I can do that. But just know, you know, even if you let go with some things that you will still be okay, that you don't need to do so much is what I'm feeling with that. Okay, Scorpio, uh, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.